Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride officially starting this vlog and I don't normally vlog on Sundays. Regardless, I want to welcome you to today's vlog. We're doing another what I eat in a day on my Optivia 5 in 1 plan. I've already had two fuelings today. I got a little glam. I'll be completely honest with you. I fully took a nap yesterday and I had no idea how much I needed it. Like it literally was like four o'clock yesterday, Saturday. I laid down after I took a shower and Zach was like, let's go do something, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I am not moving. I am not moving. I am so tired. I have just been go, 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 like this entire month and I clearly like needed a break. So I took a nap yesterday for like four hours and then I was up for like two hours and then I slept the entire night. So I took a nap. I'm feeling good. It's been already a pretty productive day and I feel like my body just needed it and I just feel like I'm really in such a good rhythm. So many good things are happening. I like seriously and these are also, I guess what you could consider like NSVs. Like I feel like my hair is coming back to life. Like who are we? My skin is clearing up, which I mean, knock on wood, I think I'm getting my period next week. So that's not gonna be like a forever thing, but like everything is just coming back into control and it just feels so, so good. My bra is currently much looser than it used to be. I'm gonna need some new bras soon. This shirt is currently the smallest shirt I've bought in a really long time. I wanna say this is a medium. Who am I? Like, good things are happening. Okay, so let me bring you guys up to speed for anybody who has not currently been watching the most recent vlogs. 
Ever since switching to eating the leanest and lowest veggies and proteins, I've been having more of everything because when you choose from the leanest and lowest, you have like a lot more food. The more food that you have of like the good stuff, the more results you're gonna see. And I'm serious, you guys, I've been doing this for like what feels like since almost the beginning of January. So like we're three quarters of the way through the month. I have seriously seen so much, so many results just in the last like few weeks. I am shocked. If anybody else has been following this with me and doing the same kind of thing, comment down below if you've seen like an uptick in your progress. Oh my God, I'm so feeling, I'm feeling so motivated. I'm so committed and I'm just like feeling so good. And I wanna vlog as much as I can. I'm trying to like keep my sanity because there's a lot of stuff going on. But like regardless, I just wanna share with you guys how good I'm feeling, how this whole thing is really starting to come to fruition. I felt like I was so overloaded with food just like a week ago and now I feel like I'm in a rhythm. I know what I gotta eat, I know what I gotta do, I just need to do it. <sighs> I can see it, you guys, April is going to happen. I don't know about you guys, but like I am in this. I have never felt so incredibly committed and motivated and consistent in my health journey my entire life. Like I've literally never felt this good. I've never felt so consistent. I've never felt so committed. Like this is all working out so, so well. I'm so proud of myself for sticking to it, but honestly, it just took a really, really strong goal and it took getting through like the first week. Like after the first week, I was fine. I don't even have a question on like what I'm gonna have during the day. I don't have the cravings. I like Zach is eating a different plan than I am. He's eating carbs and things like that because he's bodybuilding. I don't feel like I need that. Like I just feel so good. I don't know. I'm sorry for ranting. I just had to give you guys like a quick update on as far as like kind of what's been happening. But yeah, that's where we're at. I'm excited with what's happening in this journey so far. If you guys have been doing the same kind of like leanest, lowest journey with me, comment down below and let me know how you're feeling too. I'm sure you're feeling fabulous and I want to know. So I am going to go ahead and kick off this vlog also to do just a full what I eat in a day. It's going to be pretty much the same stuff you guys have been seeing, but like as long as you're okay with that, that's what we're going to be doing. So I have had fueling number one. You guessed it, my golden chocolate chip pancake. I always do a golden chocolate chip pancake in the mornings. It like kicks off my day on the right foot. I feel so good after it. I waffle it in my dash for like one minute. It's sweet enough on its own with just the chocolate chips. So, so good. Also made my Nespresso, you already know, I am officially obsessed with my Nespresso. It is actually addictive. So I had that already. I had that with three tablespoons of my cinnamon swirl nut pods for one condiment. And then I just made fueling number two. You guys already saw I had my shake. I try to have my shake like as my fueling number two or fueling number three, just to kind of get it done. And honestly, I'm like kind of digging the shakes, mostly because it makes me really realize when you're making a shake during the day, like a legit like shake, almost like a smoothie in like a blender, you can literally put so much in there that like maybe you don't necessarily want to take on its own, like healthy superfoods. Like there's just so much you can get into a shake that like you just have to, you can just get it in there and knock it out and not even have to think about it. So my shake currently consists of eight ounces of water, a handful of ice, a cup of spinach for one green. I do a teaspoon of flaxseed oil for one healthy fat. I do whichever shake I'm feeling, which today was the creamy vanilla shake. And then I squeeze in a little bit of my leanest protein. I do three ounces of my non-fat Greek yogurt. Counts as a quarter of my leanest for the day. And honestly, it is super good. Like it doesn't taste like spinach. It tastes like a vanilla shake with like a little hint of dairy from the non-fat Greek yogurt. So, so good. So had that as fueling number two, and I'm gonna have fueling number three in a little bit here, but let me show you guys what we got. Okay, we placed a mini order on Optavia probably like a week or so ago. And to be completely honest with you, this is all Zach's fault. This is totally Zach's fault because this guy decided to do five in one for about a week just to drop a couple of pounds, which I'm fully in support of, but I was already running low on fuelings. <laughs> So we needed to order another box and that basically means that the last like three or four days of my plan before this were like pretty sketch. <laughs> like you guys, I was doing really, really weird concoctions of fuelings and having like brownies with my eggs. Tried to make the velvety chocolate shake into my actual shake with my greens. Highly disgusting, definitely don't do that. It was not good, don't try that on your own. But I was like trying to like use up the last like nubs of our fuelings because that's all that I had left. We were completely out of bars. Like everything was really, really bad. Thank God I did have 
pancakes left. That was still like, thank God I could still start my day the right way. But we got a mini order of fuelings because we really, really needed them. And because things were running so, so low, I did already open my box, but I have left it in the box so that I could show you guys what we got. I also still need to like get everything organized in my fueling bins and all that fun stuff. I'll show you guys how I do that today. I'm sure you guys have seen that on my channel before, but anybody who needs like a little bit of like motivation or wants to like organize their fuelings with me, I'll do that in this vlog as well. I figured I'd share with you what we got in our mini Optavia order. And some of these things are already open, like I said, because we were like desperately low, but I'm gonna show you guys what we got just to restock and refuel. Big, big things that we stocked up on was bars and shakes, clearly, because we have a lot of those. Like Zach mainly does bars when he's gonna have fuelings, so we were like really low on that. But I got one of the creamy vanilla shakes, which I clearly already opened and had today. Creamy vanilla shakes are like honestly an underdog in my book. Like I definitely did not like these for the majority of the first chunk of my program and now I love them and they work really, really well with the spinach that I put in. Like these and the chocolate shakes, I would say probably are my favorite as far as mixing everything together. The other ones work too, but like these ones are great. It just works with like kind of the dairy flavor that goes in with the yogurt, really good. So creamy vanilla shakes, caramel macchiato shakes. These are good as well. This can also be mixed in with coffee. If you wanna get your coffee in with your fueling in the morning, these are actually really good as well. And I am anything caramel. Like if it's chocolate versus caramel, I'm generally a caramel girl. So this is really good in my opinion. Okay, these were finally back in stock. I've actually already had one and have been really missing them. The rich dark chocolate shakes. I'm a big fan of dark chocolate. If it's gonna be milk chocolate or dark chocolate, I'll usually pick dark. And these have been out of stock for a while. So I'm really Really, really pumped that they're back. I think I got more than one box of these just because I was so excited about them, but these are the rich dark chocolate shakes. Again, I got a lot of shakes because I needed to make sure I had enough shakes to mix them in with my greens all throughout my month so that I have enough of them. So I got just the regular creamy chocolate shake. These are great. Also, Zach really likes these ones. These are his favorite. Whenever he does a shake, generally he'll do this kind of shake and then mix in extra protein if he needs to because he's on more of like a maintenance bodybuilder plan, if you know what I mean. And then, oh, this is definitely for Zach. Hearty red bean and vegetable chili. So you guys are gonna have to comment below. Do you like the chili? I've never tried it. I'm not really a chili fan, but like the further along in my journey that I get, the more I'm like, hmm, maybe this is good. It'll like switch it up. You just kind of like want to get out of a rut and try new things. So like maybe I'll try this, but hearty red bean and vegetable chili. I've never tried it before, but Zach really wanted it. And he actually likes to squeeze in some of his veggies into the soup so that it kind of like knocks it out and it makes it bigger and heartier. So Anyway, I might try that, we'll see. Creamy chocolate shake, another one of these, so two boxes of those. And then Zach has been eating all my brownies, you guys. Okay, let me know if your man also eats your brownies because I feel like I have to hide these things. So, decadent chocolate brownies, staple in our pantry, like you need a good brownie, that just is what it is, it goes without saying. All right, you already know, golden chocolate chip pancakes had to be a thing and thank God I ordered more. To be honest, I'll probably place another order tonight just for those, because I clearly need more. I got two boxes of these, let me grab them really quick. Two boxes of the buttermilk cheddar herb biscuits. So I have been really loving these with my eggs in the afternoon. I like to do, and I'll show you guys after this how I do it. I like to do half a cup of egg substitute for a quarter of my leanest. And then I'll make like a little sandwich with the buttermilk biscuit. These are on the select section of the site. If you guys haven't seen that, they're a little bit more expensive, but like totally worth it. And this basically makes like bread. So when I do this, I do four tablespoons of water in my biscuit instead of the regular three, and it makes two waffled biscuits so that I can put the eggs in between. It's kind of like an egg sandwich. You see where I'm going with that? Really, really good. So I got two of these so that I can continue to do that with my eggs in the afternoon. Then also stocked up on cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake because you already know. I am anything cinnamon swirl, like that's definitely my, my weakness and I feel like I can smell it from a mile away if you know what I mean. Um, okay, chocolate mint cookie crisp. These are really good if you keep them in the fridge or even in the freezer. They taste like thin mints, so, so good. Okay, I told you guys this in a recent vlog, but like by far, these are my newest, latest and greatest favorite bar that Optivia makes. It's the dark chocolate coconut curry bar with almonds and sea salt, okay. Take it from somebody who waited way too long to try these. These are also on the select part of the site. Okay, if I have my choice on crispy versus like, or crispy, crunchy versus like chewy, think of the crisps versus like the peanut butter chocolate chip bar, which used to be called the silky peanut butter bar. 
I don't know why they changed it, but they did. Anyway, I am a fan of chewy versus crispy crunchy. And these are chewy. Some people hate the chewy, like ask Zach, he does not like chewy. He thinks the chewy bars take too long to eat. I know, men, but he thinks they take too long. I think they are delicious and I can just literally just throw them in my purse. I got three boxes of these, you guys, and I have been like really excited for them. Already opened one, I've got number two and number three right here, three full boxes of these. So those are gonna be delicious. Then we also got some other bars for Zach. He's already gotten into these. The Drizzled Chocolate Fudge Crisp Bar. Those are really good. Honestly, just a really basic chocolate bar that are really good. And then two other bars, we've got the Drizzled Berry Crisp. We haven't ordered these in a while, so maybe we just wanted to change. I forget why we ordered these. And then Creamy Double Peanut Butter Crisp. These are a staple as well. I know some people that like literally will eat like four of these a day. They're so stinking good. They're just really fulfilling that peanut butter craving if you feel like you're having it, so. Anyway, I don't even know how many boxes that is, but that is everything that we got. I just wanted to share with you guys a mini haul of what we ordered. And to be completely honest with you, we have such a jam-packed month and I don't want to ever feel like I was running out of feelings again. That was like a really scary time. So I think I'm gonna place another order like tonight. And whenever that one comes in, I'll share it with you guys. But wanted to give you like a mini haul and make sure that you guys at least saw some of the things that we'll be having over the next few weeks. So next up, I just need to get these organized and you guys have probably seen in my videos before, I like to use bins for my fuelings. It just honestly looks a little bit better in my pantry. It's easier for me to travel with. I just really like it that way. So let me grab those. I'll show you guys how I do it. I do have a full video on my channel on how I organize my fuelings. If you guys wanna see like how I label them and all of that kind of stuff, I'll link that video right here so you guys can go check it out but this is gonna be my little mini fueling haul for today i'm gonna stock them into my bins and i'll show you how we do it
number three. This is my little egg sandwich, mock egg sandwich. And this is just the buttermilk cheddar herb biscuit with four tablespoons of water to make two of the biscuits right there. I just do both in the dash. And then I have half a cup of my egg substitute in the middle here. I just put it on the stove, kind of like a little omelet and then flip it together so that it makes like a little like size like that. And then this is gonna count as a quarter of my Lena's for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, but does that not look delish? I love egg sandwiches, so I'm so glad I get to have them again. And this is just the healthy version. Okay, so finished feeling number three. And Zach and I are thinking we kind of want to get out of the house for a little bit. Um, just go for like a little drive. You might get a coffee, who knows. And I like to kind of like make my own coffee from home if I'm like really wanting something perfect on plan and honestly it tastes better than what I would get out anyway. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna make a little like iced latte here and I'll put it in a to-go cup so that I can like take it on the road. I actually already shared this on my channel like a few videos back and I've been really loving it. Like it works really well. It's not like the perfect rendition of my Starbucks favorite, which is the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso, but it'll do. It's very, very close and it's on plan and it's very minimal. So anyway, I'm gonna make an iced latte. This is my iced almond milk brown sugar cinnamon latte and I'll show you guys how I make it. And then, like I said, I'll do it in a glass, a clear glass so you guys can see it just the way that I make it. And then I'll put it in a to-go cup so that we can just like go on a little drive and get out of the house. But yeah, I've been really, really liking it this way and it's still kind of fun to take a little like iced coffee on the road with me and do our thing. And I don't have to feel like I don't get to have a coffee. Okay, so the first thing I do is I fill my glass to the top with ice, just like that, and then I'll add in a tablespoon of my sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon syrup. This is the Tarani brand, and I find it on Amazon, and it is so, so good. I did not know that there was a sugar-free version of this, but once I found it, I immediately ordered it, and I've been loving it. So I do one tablespoon for half a condiment. Okay, so I put my glass right here under my Nespresso, and then I've actually got espresso pods down here. This is the Starbucks Blonde Espresso Roast. So they look like this. This is just the Starbucks Blonde Espresso, and I do two shots for a double shot latte, and then I just pour them right over my ice. So now we've got our brown sugar cinnamon syrup and our double espresso with our ice to the top. And then I add in just half a cup of my unsweetened almond milk just to the top. And then this whole drink is only gonna count as one condiment because this half a cup of almond milk is half a condiment and then my one tablespoon of syrup is another half. So pour it right over the top. Does that not look delicious? This is gonna be creamy and very brown sugar cinnamony, perfect for like a nice little afternoon pick-me-up. I'm gonna throw it in my to-go cup and then we'll take a drive. I'm staying in bed thinking back on us and everything that went wrong. Never said goodbye, think I broke your trust, should've known this all along. Don't wanna be the one that you're trying to avoid. I'm feeling so confused, why did I act so annoyed? Cause I And if you don't end up at Target on a Sunday when you're randomly driving around, like, who are you? <laughs> So clearly had to stop at Target and actually also needed a couple things so it worked out. But I figured I'd show you guys like a little mini Target haul of some stuff that I just stocked up on for the week. I'll probably still go again like later on in the week just because I like to have things fresh. But figured I would show you guys what we got. We needed some more dishwasher detergent and then I got some more kale. I've been liking getting fresh kale instead of the bagged recently just because I'm able to kind of cut this up easier instead of like picking out all the stems, which has been nice. I just do two servings of this for two greens throughout the day. I'm actually gonna make this in just a second. And then I also got some more turkey. I go through like two or three, no, more like three to four pounds a week um, because I do 3.5 ounces of this for half of my leanest for the day. So 99% fat-free ground turkey breast. Also got some tissues because I'm forever ever needing tissues everywhere. Also two more cartons of egg substitute. I just stock up on this because honestly, a lot of times Target is out of stock. So if I ever find them, I just buy a bunch, but I have these every single day. So I will go 
go through them pretty quickly. Then also got some more of my favorite Ken's Light Balsamic Vinaigrette. I have been like really liking this. I love the flavor with the turkey and it's on plan, two tablespoons for one healthy fat. Also got a mini dish soap because we needed some new stuff anyway. And this is actually the scent that was like viral on social media. Um, I want to say like six months ago, maybe it was a year ago, I don't know, but smells super yummy, very citrusy and good. And then also some waters. I like having bigger waters just so I can get this done throughout the day and make sure I'm having enough. Plus Evian is the best. It does taste the best in my opinion. Then wanted a new candle for our little like centerpiece in the living room. And this one smelled really good. Also, I loved kind of this like matte green texture. I honestly was more in it for the aesthetic, but it did smell really good as well. This is the Threshold brand Vetiver. I don't know if you say that, and Moss. Crackling wood wicks, so you can like kind of hear it too. Smells really good. And then, okay, so if I ever want to get a salad out or if I ever want to bring like maybe some of my sugar-free syrups to a coffee place, these are perfect. So I just found these instead of me having to kind of make do with what I have, these are going to be perfect size for that. And these hold two tablespoons. So I figured I'd pick up a couple of these little small to-go containers for dressing or for like a sugar-free syrup if I want to go get coffee out or anything like that. So found those and I thought those were a steal. I actually need to have fueling number four really quick. I'm going to have a creamy double peanut butter crisp, which I have been, it's been a long time since I've had a bar like this, so I'm kind of pumped for it. But I'm also gonna start prepping my lean and green so that that's like kind of done by the time I need to have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this for fueling number four and then I'm gonna make my turkey and kale the way that I normally do. If you guys have seen my recent vlogs, it's kind of the same thing, but I will make it really quick just so you guys can see it and then we'll have our lean and green meal. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things It's quite a to me five ounces of my ground turkey here with two tablespoons of my light balsamic vinaigrette for one healthy fat. And then I've got 67 grams of my baked kale. And I have done this on every vlog since I've made this, but you guys, these are kale chips and they're freaking delicious. They are perfectly crispy every time. They seriously are so much easier to make than you think. So I have two greens here with my 67 grams of kale. I have a half of my leanest here. So that means concluding all of this food, my full lean and green is done because I've already had the rest of my greens, my leanest and my healthy fats within the other parts of my day. So this is gonna be the rest of my lean and green for tonight. All I need is my fueling number five and then we're gonna be done. I did save the rest of my pound of 99% fat-free ground turkey for another day, for tomorrow, obviously. So that's done and ready. And this is gonna be what I'm gonna munch on for now and I'll check back in with you guys for fueling number five.
Oh, 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 